patriarchy, help or hindrance. Consider this. In regard to oppression, any hierarchy creates winners and losers. The winners are, of course, more likely to justify the hierarchy and the losers to criticize. And this makes sense because the winners win. They want to keep winning. Losers lose. They don't want to keep losing. But one, the collective pursuit of any valued goal produces a hierarchy and as some will be better and some will be worse at that pursuit no matter what it is. So the very act of pursuing something in a collective way with a group of people produces a hierarchy naturally because there becomes a rank order of competence and power perhaps as well. And two, it is the pursuit of goals that in large part lends itself to sustaining meaning. We experience almost all of the emotion that makes life deep and engaging as a consequence of moving successfully towards something deeply desired and valued. This is what gives us fulfillment and meaning. This is why aiming upwards, having an aim, defining an aim, having a goal, whether however small, large, or whatever size, is so critically important because it gives meaning and it engages us with life. And the price we pay for that involvement is the inevitable creation of hierarchies of success, while the inevitable consequence is difference in outcome. Absolute equality would therefore require the sacrifice of value itself, and then there would be nothing worth living for. And so that is in reference to equality of outcome. Okay, The price we pay for that involvement is the inevitable creation of hierarchy. So by the price we pay for having a collective pursuit of something good, of something valuable, right? Pursuing something of value creates a natural hierarchy. Power and competence. And so, this is inevitable because we desire certain outcomes. And if we want to create, if we were to live in a world, and this is a thought experiment, if there was a world to be created where there would be absolute equality of outcome, then it is very likely that it would sacrifice the very value of value itself. It would sacrifice value. It would sacrifice what it means to be great at something because now everybody would be on a level playing field. And then this would, in fact, sacrifice meaning and fulfillment in itself because what would people live for, will live for and strive for if everything was equal? Where would you find your inner motivation, inspiration to strive for something better if there is an equal outcome in everything you do? Would we be just sitting like monks on a rock, just meditating and, and trying to elevate our, our consciousness every day? Would that be the, the only purpose to just live inwards? I think it's a really important point and justification for against uh, the quality of outcome. 